Welcome to the walk code walkthrough for the Watchlist, a Sencha Touch sample application that integrates Sencha Touch, Facebook, Node.js, MongoDB to build an application which helps you uh, watch movies with your friends. My name is Aditya and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Sencha Touch, the core framework concepts, and then walk through key components of the code to make this application. So let's start with a little bit about Sencha. The web is a very broad medium and Sencha's mission is to help developers build amazing applications with web standards. An application built on Sencha technology, whether it's Sencha Touch on the mobile side or ext.js on the desktop side, all applications have basically three fundamental layers. A foundation built around a class structure and an MVC architecture, a data layer which is, uh, contains models, stores, and data connectors, and a set of UIs for controllers, UI elements, widgets, and all sorts of things like that. Sencha Touch specifically is a JavaScript framework built on HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript that runs on iOS, BlackBerry, Windows Phone 8, and Android to help you build uh, JavaScript applications that run on mobile app, mobile web browsers, as well as packaged into things like Cordova or BlackBerry WebWorks. All sorts of applications can be built with Sencha Touch, whether they're e-commerce style apps, they're uh, direct-to-consumer apps, B2B apps, uh, healthcare applications, or you know local and social applications. There are many different types of applications that are built with Sencha Touch, and given um, the wide variety of apps that can be built on it, many different applications have been built using Sencha. You can find a full list of uh, sample, app sample applications at Sencha.com. Now, let's talk a little bit about the basics of Sencha. Of Sencha. At the very foundation is our class system. Class system is used to build uh, the base fundamental objects that are used to build your application. Whether you're defining a new class or creating an instance of a class, for example, in this case, we're defining an animal, which has a property name, and then extending it here to become a human, but adding a speak function. You can then use the ext create function to instantiate um, the human class with configuration of Bob and then let it speak. Applications built around Sencha use the MVC architecture. We'll go into more details about this in a minute. But the root, or your main, if you will, is inside the app.js. The models, views, controllers are stored inside their respective folders. We use a further uh, JSON structure called an X-type to define the UI views. This is a declarative syntax built around a JSON object structure, which lets you define, uh, without any code, without any procedural code, the view and the look and feel of your application. Also for uh, data renders and item renders, we use a what we call an X template. It's Sencha's rendering templates. And these are used to fill in items like lists. So let's take a look at some code and let's take a look at this example application. So we'll switch over here to Chrome where I have a um, this application called the watch list. It's here on the watchlistapp.com. What you're seeing here in the middle is actually the live application. I can scroll through it here. Since it's a web app, it can run in many, many different contexts which a web app can run in. So if I'm looking back through some movies here, I see Oz the Great and the Powerful, and one of my friends, Abe, our co-founder and CTO, has watched it. Let's walk through the app by starting with the base layers from the Node.js server and then walk all the way up to the client application. So it starts here in the, our GitHub repository, uh, github.com slash learn slash watchlist. And all the base configurations are specified here in a config file, including a Mongo database that we talked to hosted by Mongo Lab, as well as um, the Heroku configuration. Full configuration options to deploy this app on your own are in the readme MD file on the GitHub. Inside the app, inside the app.js is our first um, our first file that we're going to look at. This is a Node.js application. So we configure to use Express here as well as using that Mongo database hosted by Mongo Lab. And then what we're going to need to do in this application is store um, store the movies that the, that the users are watching. So I'm going to go to the viewing function here, which is an endpoint. This is the core of this application, which is a new endpoint here called viewing where if I want to see an application, if I want to see a movie, it gets posted. If I've seen a movie, it gets posted. And we use the Facebook Graph APIs, uh, such as the one and a um, action here called want to watch, as well as, um, you know, in this case, the scene, or in this case, um, the post here to like rate uh, what you want to wish to rate the movie. And when all the actions are collected, we make the post to the Facebook Open Graph API. So all this is handled here from the server side. 
And that's where the core interaction in this app.js happens from the watch list app, Node.js server to, to Facebook. Now, if we switch over to the client side, this is the actual Sentia Touch application here again on GitHub. As we've mentioned earlier, there's an app.js, which is where the core of the application starts from. It's the main, if you will. So if I go to app.js, the first thing you'll see is the watch list. That's the namespace for this application. A set of models. So these are records, stores, which are collection of models. Views, these are the main views. So if we switch back to the application here, you can see this is a view. The way this view is constructed is this is a Sentia Touch list. And this is a template that's rendering inside the list with buttons and other elements inside of it. There's a set of controllers to help me manage it and provide the bindings of a, a functionality. And then, as I mentioned earlier, a launch function. This serves as the main, this is the entry point for the application. First thing we do is we initialize uh, Facebook so that we can get the Facebook credentials. And then we start the application up. Inside the watch list application is a um, Facebook helper function that's available. It wraps the Facebook APIs inside of a friendly Sentia Touch style event, gives you access to the Facebook init capabilities, lets you log people in, just gives you a very convenient set of wrapper functionality around the Facebook APIs to make it a little bit more friendly to work in, in a Sentia Touch environment. As we mentioned, the model view controller architecture in Sentia Touch. Inside here, we see a set of uh, different functions or different folders. So let's go and dig into one of these views. Now, we talked about that main view. So I'm going to click into the main view here. And I'd mentioned the configuration and the X types and the X that you can use to build up your application. So here you see a structure of an application, such as a segmented button, some styling, spacer, another segmented button, the Facebook profile picture, so that you're able to show all the different things uh, to build up this list item template here. As this renders, you're able to then get this list as it binds to a store. So let's go take a peek at a store here to see how the data is pulled up. So I'm gonna go back into the directory structure, I'm gonna go back out of the views, and I'm gonna to go to the stores. So here will be a uh, movies store, and the store contains a connection to the movies server side resource. Now that's defined in the Node.js server, and that's very you know vanilla on its own. So we'll actually then go back to the model and take a look at how the movie structure is, is defined. Now we use the Rotten Tomato API. We can go back to the app.js for the Node.js server and look at that movies endpoint, and that's the one that makes the request to the Rotten Tomatoes API to go get the list of movies. But here are the fields that we use. So we do very clean binding between a JSON data structure that comes over our data service, in this case our Node.js server, and our server side and our client side bindings that we use for showing and rendering the application. We also are able to do other interesting things such as formatters and other validators inside the model so that we can have a really good idea of um, cleaning up the data and making it much more consumable. So that an application like this works really well giving users the best user interface possible for this sample application. So that's a very quick walkthrough of the watch list application, a Node.js and Sentia Touch application that connects to the Rotten Tomato API, the Facebook Open Graph API, and as well as a database hosted on MongoLab to build really quick and easy and very powerful applications built on Sentia Touch. If you want to see more, go to github.com slash and you can look at the watch list or other applications that we have built there. Thanks.